Hi folks, welcome back. So I've been building these components to computers in Minecraft for quite some time now. I think my very first invention or design for something was way back in like 2014 or something for a seven segment display. And this is also another video about a computer component. If you clicked on this video, you probably know exactly everything I'm about to say about this thing, but I kind of wanted to start from the basics and talk about how computers add numbers in the first place and how we can achieve this in Redstone. So the way that computers add numbers together is very similar to how you would do it on pen and paper. So you've got a column for each number and when you add them together you check if it is bigger than what each number can support so basically in base 10 if it's bigger than 9 you have to carry a number so the way that computers do it is by using a contraption called an adder and this is an adder in minecraft obviously now all these adders are the same thing what we basically do is we have a slice of redstone and each one of these things processes one digit so we can see right now the output is zero and if we add one to it the output is one if we add two so one plus one is two then you can see two is represented in binary binary and of course we also have a carry in bit so that this represents whether or not we have to carry from the rightmost number right now I have it set up so that it is programmed kind of like adding 9999 to 1 if you were doing this by hand you would have to carry a 1 per each digit and that would be kind of a pain and as you can see when we flick this lever well it's backwards but <laughs> the number is being rippled all the way down there and it ends up down here so I think this number is actually 254 and we're adding 1 and in binary 254 plus 1 will add uh, 1 to each one of the digits so anyway you can see this is kind of slow and if we had to wait for this entire process the whole time you know adding one and carrying one per column it'd be kind of a pain so there are actually ways to generate and propagate is called uh, carry signals intuitively just basically we will figure out whether or not we're going to need to carry something before we actually carry it so here is the same exact contraption and as you can see it is way faster and the design is not really that much different we have the same kind of adding circuit here but we are handling the way that the carry bit is propagated differently i'm going to get into how generate and propagate signals work later on in the video but as for right now this is pretty much all you need to know to understand the concept and you can probably see that i've color coded all these parts and that's actually true for all of the different uh, things that i built in this world that just helps me to understand which parts of the circuit are what and the white parts in this instance right now are x or gates and those are things that we use to calculate in addition and i got to thinking you know we can probably improve upon the design of the x or gate because if you take a look at this thing it is pretty slow and that is partly the fault of these x or gates taking a long time to process so i actually went ahead and broke down the idea of the x gate entirely and just try to figure out how we can break this thing even you know down to its component level and figure out how to make this thing as fast as possible and this is what i came up with this is actually an extra gate it doesn't look anything like one that you've seen before but it is instant so we when we add one and zero that is instant it's basically the same thing as having a straight redstone path from our lever all the way to our piston now adding one and one is not instant as you can see when we add this one it kind of takes I think it's two or three ticks probably to update that piston but it's still pretty darn fast and this is actually what forms the basis of our new designs for that adder that i'm going to show later on in the video as a quick side note it is possible to make a fully instant xor gate which is what i've done here as you can see no matter what condition we do like one plus zero or one plus one the output is instant but this design is not something i ended up using because it's got some other issues i won't go into detail about all right, now we're getting to the meat and potatoes of today's video. This is a slice of an adder circuit that I built without any repeaters whatsoever. So this is just an attempt at getting the fastest performance we can. Look at that. Look how fast that is. It's actually instant, to be perfectly honest. So you add one and zero, and the output is instant, and you add one and one, and it takes a little bit longer, but it's still pretty darn fast. The same can be said about the carry in bit. So if we carry in one from the right side, that's kind of like adding one and zero together. The output of that is instant. And another thing we can do is add one to zero, and then carry one, which is two. And that is also very fast. In fact, it's actually faster than adding one and one together. Now that's not particularly interesting by itself, but if we go over here, I've chained a bunch of these things together to make a 16 bit adder. So this is actually the same kind of concept as the first adder I showed off in the beginning of the video. It's uh, currently set to 254, I believe, and we add one to it and boom, it's done. It, it just calculates it like almost instantly. It's ridiculously fast. That's just because we got rid of all the repeaters in the thing. So there are no repeaters in this whole thing all the way across, which is kind of mind boggling, but that's redstone for you. 
And that brings me to my final point, which is what is generate and propagate, which I talked about earlier in the video. This is for anyone who's like into computer science and you're just trying to figure out how in the heck these adders add so fast compared to ripple carry. So generate is actually the same thing as a normal carry signal. So wherever we would carry a number, generate would be on. Propagate is a little bit different, and I'm going to talk about it in the context of Minecraft because in real life, propagate works very differently. But in this case, what we're doing is we're sending a carry signal in from the right side, and we're basically saying, do we want to propagate or carry this to the left as well? So we can actually think about the carry as a number that passes through the adder completely. And it turns out that the only situation when this carry number doesn't pass through is when the input is completely zero. Consider the situation when we have one plus one, we're always gonna carry that out to the left. And one plus one is true when our carry is true and when either one of our input bits is one. However, if we are carrying in from the right and their input is zero for both of our bits, then we're gonna end up with a result of one, which doesn't have a carry. And I've represented this in the game by basically having a piston that blocks off our carry signal. And we can very easily see that with this particular adder because the carry line runs all the way down the middle of this thing. So we can turn on the uh, carry bit in the bottom here and you can see that it did some math. That's because we have uh, numbers, we have one set for each one of our input two bits. If any of our inputs are one, a carry signal propagates straight through the adder, while if both of the inputs are zero, a carry signal doesn't propagate. Anyway, folks, I didn't really want to get too far into the details, and I also didn't want to make too simple of a video either, so I have no idea how this thing came out. Let me know down in the comments, and if you have any suggestions or other questions about this thing, definitely let me know as well. But anyway, that's going to be it for me today. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.